Here we go, yo, 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 what up though? I got Saray Blood in the building, how you doing? What's up with it, I'm all right, I'm all right. Feeling a little shaky today, but I'm good. Hey man, you know, we gonna kick it, it's gonna be a good time. Welcome to Mogul State of Mind, I appreciate you sitting down with me. What's up, thank you for having me, man. Uh, you know what, we, we just gonna jump into it, cause you know, we gotta get the 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 some uh the, the upbringing out the way. Okay. Um, and then we gonna, we gonna go into the kicking mode. So tell me a little bit about yourself, DFW native, where you from? I'm um, in Dallas, and what was your upbringing like? I'm from DeSoto. Uh, okay. But, uh, shoot, I've been in DeSoto most of my life. Basically grew there for, uh, from my, my grandmother got a house in DeSoto, so she's been there my entire life. Okay. So uh, I, that's pretty much why I graduated from DeSoto, so I just say that's where I'm from. Oh, that's dope. Mm -hmm. um, growing up in DeSoto, what was that, what was that like? Because, you know, like Dallas is one of those places where it do get real territorial. If somebody say they Dallas, but then you from DeSoto, they be like, oh, they ain't Dallas, that's DeSoto. How how do you feel about that? And I just feel like that, that shit's unnecessary as hell, mm -hmm. bro. We're from the same place. Like, I'm from Dallas, because it, it was at times where I was living with my mom. We was living over there uh, off Wheeling in a Providence yeah. by Old Hickory Tree. I've been there like since I was in sixth grade, damn near through high school, really. So, like, I, I've been to every part of Dallas. I've lived in North Dallas. So I'm from Dallas. Like, got you. Regardless, you know what I'm saying? But DeSoto is just very specific. Got you. It don't got to be that specific. Motherfuckers try to make it like, oh, you ain't from here. They from McKinney or something. It's like, that's the same thing. Like, we all in Dallas. You know what I mean? Unless it's Fort Worth. I can understand. <laughs> I, you know what I'm saying? I understand that, like, we in Dallas, then you got Fort Worth. But other than that, everybody try to nitpick with Dallas areas and shit, man. That ain't. I mean, I mean that makes sense because Fort, Fort Worth is like the equivalent of almost somebody saying they're from Austin. It's literally a whole nother city. Exactly. Whole that down, make downtown that, and everything. That makes sense. If I'm in DeSoto, the downtown I'm going to is da downtown Dallas. Right. You get what I'm saying? So I, I don't I don't get into all that, man. That, it's unnecessary, man. Niggas just be trying to be seen and loud and shit, man. That's got, unnecessary. Got you. Now, your space in the music, man, you you, you into the R&B side, which is dope mm -hmm. because we're, we're in a space where everybody just want to rap. Even singers, some, I know a lot of R&B singers who, yeah. it's like, you know what, R&B ain't working the way I want to. I'm going to just try to start rapping. But you kind of do, you kind of, when I listen to your music, it kind of, I give it trap soul. It's like, yeah. hood soul, hood R&B. But, for you, if you was to define your music for the first time, for people hearing it the first time, how would you define yourself as an artist? An artist. I I was just showing my people, I got a I got a rock song. Like I'm very versatile and I do like rapping. Gotcha. I like rapping. It's fun to talk your shit. You know what I'm saying? It's fun to just be out there like dropping metaphors and bars and shitting on motherfuckers, but it's just something different when it comes to that R and B, that soul side, like you tap in different. Yeah. I feel like R&B harder than rap. If you want to be honest, like, it's just you got to create those vibes. A rap song, you can really get on that mud and say anything. It's oversaturated, honestly. I, I think, like, I look at R&B kind of like basketball, right? Like, it takes a real, you got, it's a it's a genetically born skill set that you have to have to really be good at R&B. Like, you have to actually be able to sing. Like, you can go to as many vocal coaches, just like a basketball player. You can go to as many coaches to teach you how to dribble, but you got to just have that it factor, something in your genetics that just make you good at jumping, hooping. I feel like the same way with R&B artists. It's like, if you can't sing, this shit just ain't going to work for you at all, period, if you ain't born with that genetic gift. Auto-tune has changed all of that. Mm. Like... It could be a motherfucker on that, on that. It's like, damn, okay, that sound decent. And you hear them raw vocals, it's like, oh shit, like they had to do surgery on that shit for Sound like happy feet. You know what I'm saying? Like they had to, <laughs> they had to do something in that motherfucker. But but, but auto tune artists kind of get exposed because when you go to the live concert, yeah. It that that aspect of auto tune out there, like when you hit a major level, yeah, your auto tune will be cued into yeah, your live set. Of course. But when you're on the underground or audio records or auto tune. When it's time to perform live, it don't it don't hit the same because now you got to use your God given talents to do yeah. that shit. And God forbid that music stop on your ass, boy. Ooh. God forbid <laughs> that shit. God damn, 
me personally, I'm, I'm just blessed that I ain't never had to take like vocal lessons. Like my dad used to open up for uh, different R and B groups, Destiny's Child, Junior okay. One back in the day. So like he's a natural like singer. Okay. So that you know, I think I just got it from from genetics. genetics. You know what yeah, I'm saying? So it just is what it is. Like he was a major on R and B, soul music, you know, soul and that scene. So. Of course, I took it on, but I actually would love to get like voice lessons, mm. like for sure. Like I feel like that'll bring better, even better vocals. Got you. Now I, I had a chance to go on your YouTube, check out, you know, saying mm. the videos that you had on there, and it's no secret you gay, right? Yeah, no secret. Yeah. No secret. Now, bye. Are you bye? No. So you don't sometimes be like, you know what? I'm just get a nigga just in and out, and then then boom. That's what. That's what. I have no problem with women like that. Even if you are masculine, do whatever you want. Yeah. Like, this is uh, this is America. This is land of the free, 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 and do that shit whenever you want. I, it just ain't me. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. Like, I don't. I find dudes attractive. Like, I think Drake is like the most beautiful man alive. Okay. But when it comes to like crossing that line, I'm not oblivious to attractive men. So Drake hits you up, yo. I want to fly you out. To the embassy. Damn. Let's go to the Carlton. To the the embassy. Well, I'm saying the embassy. That's what he called his house. Oh, his, his oh house man. So, so man. He like, yo, pull up. You know what I'm saying? Nah. I want you to lay your head down. We're gonna, we gonna have a good time. Ain't not, not he, nah, man. Like, your, do you tap into that that more feminine energy for Drake? That's your that's your crush. And you know what's crazy? I'm I am very feminine. Like when you see when you see my videos, like I like my hair done. I like to look good. Like I think I'm very pretty when yeah. I get my hair done, dressed up. Like, I ain't, I ain't no like stud or nothing, but like I'm still a woman. I don't, but I wouldn't lay you down. You would with classify. Drake. I would class. Well, at least if I saw you in this outfit today, I'd be like, okay, she's yeah. stud. But that's what I'm saying. Like, I, every time you see my video, my hair is done. Facts. But right wrong. now, this is just to give, like, get like a, a inside. You know what I'm saying on gotcha. who I am as a person. Like. I don't do that every day. I don't. I don't want a wig on every day. Mm. I I, I want to let my real hair flow. You know what I'm saying? Chill. Like I'm. I'm a human being. Gotcha. You feel what I'm saying? Whatever I like is for whoever like. It. If not, you can move around. I don't give a damn. But I ain't. I ain't finna go that far with Drake. Gotcha. Uh, that's the answer to so, that. That's the answer to that. He, he ain't got no chance, huh? Yeah, we ain't doing that, man. It's I, a, I felt like he pop out me. the Casamigos, set the vibe. You 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 will fight it hard. Do you playing with me? <laughs> I was just saying, they don't roll with it. No, no, I'm just saying, like, in, in a setting like that, bro, it's not, I, I'm so strong minded and strong willed, and I'm comfortable with who I am. Gotcha. It'll never, it'll never go to that. Like, if we can kick it and vibe, even play flirt, but I ain't on that. Like, I play, play flirt is a slippery slope. That nah. is just, <laughs> hey, you get too close to that fire. <laughs> nah, bro, nah, 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 nah. nah. It's going to eat you up, I'm telling you. Oh. Now, being like in this world, in this space, <laughs> <laughs> bro, you funny, bro. Like, you funny. In this space where, like, you know, say, it's shout out to like the world is starting to become more open minded. Mm. Like, I be telling my mom, I was like, you know, I love you. I want you around for a long time, but the mindset of your generation gotta go. Like, you old ass people trying to hold on to these old ass ways. Shout out to my granny. Gotta go. Um, she the same way. Shout out to my granny, though. <laughs> Boy, she give me help even today leaving the house. She was like, you got all that on your neck. I'm like, Jesus, Granny, I'm just a human. Like, damn. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter what I'm doing. I'll be like, you know, I'm out here trying to sing. You better not, you better not be vulgar. Like, come on, what else I'm finna be talking about? You know what I mean? Like, let's be for real in real life, realistically. What else I'm, I'm not finna get on here. When did you realize you was gay? Very young. Mm -hmm. And and that's the thing about people when they they be like, a child don't know if they gay or not, yada, yada, yada. I put it like this, honestly. At six years old, I was I was feeling things that I thought I thought were natural, mm -hmm. but they weren't. Like, and me being new to the world, I don't know what's right and what's not right. All I know is how I feel. So if I'm expressing this is how I'm feeling, I don't think that there's something like, you know what I'm saying, that's confusing or confusion because I've never seen it. Yeah. I've never seen my mom like date women. Like she even says, you ain't never seen me do this. It's like, bro, I'm my own person. Like, yeah. It's just how I feel on the inside. I don't know why I feel it. I don't. I don't know. You yeah. know what I'm saying? If I if I could be regular, if that was something that was in me, I would be. It's just not. So. So you I, feel like you're not regular because you like girls. 
Yeah. When you like girls, you're not a regular person, a normal person, a normal heterosexual person. Oh, okay. So just not heterosexual, but it seems like it's very normal. It seems like it's normal now, but uh, the thing about it now is I don't like a lot of a lot of women who dabble. It's like, what are you dabbling for? Like, either it's this or that. Like, like you know what I'm saying? Or either it's both. But that's why I don't get into other people's shit. Like, I ain't judging nobody, bro. I, cause I, I be don't, judging people all the time. I know. Yeah, no, yeah, this I conversation, just, I know. I can tell you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I judge all the time. Um, so you didn't watch a TV show or heard a song that made you gay? Nah. Because a lot of people think, um, especially heterosexual people, mm -hmm. and heterosexual men, they feel like men that are heterosexual are being under, are under attack. And that every time they look on TV, they're always trying to push something gay mm -hmm. onto people. And I always tell people I push back. I was like, well, people just love to see people on TV that represent them. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, you got to remember at one point in time, black people weren't in movies. Right. Or white it people was always the super light-skinned black woman who could pass for white Yeah, if, if it were any black people involved. Exactly. Yeah. But then once they start letting black people in the movie, all they could play is slaves and little jibber jabber Jews and all, you know, just doing a little crazy shit. And even lead roles for black people was white people putting on blackface. Mm -hmm. And white people had a problem with black people start getting lead roles. So you can still see it now, Little Mermaid. Yeah. People had an issue with, oh, yeah. on the new, new Little Mermaid movie that is a black girl playing Ariel. Right. And so people get offended. And I be telling people like, man, gay people... Everybody always want to see somebody that represents them on TV. But growing up, I've never seen anything that made me think on TV like, oh, damn, am I gay? No, I knew what I liked from early on. There's nothing exactly. I ever heard or saw that made me question. So let, me, let me ask you this. Uh, are you comfortable watching P-Valley? I've never watched it, but never watched it. Damn, bro. You never watched it? Mm -mm, I'm not, I'm such a, not a TV, I'm a history buff. I'm reading books. Right, I, li I like just, Animal Planet a lot. Okay, there you go. Like, I like that a lot, I ain't gonna lie. I don't, I've never seen Power. Mm. Or the BMF show. That's crazy. I mean, I Are you really tapped world. into your spirituality and your own life? Yeah, I mean, I just be on some bullshit. I be watching random shit, they ain't got nothing to do with nothing, yeah, so. That's cool, that's but good. as far as, Seeing like gay people like on TV or anything like that, that don't bother me. That's my lifestyle. It ain't got nothing to do with me. Man, you that means you are a man who is comfortable in his own skin. That shit don't bother nobody but niggas who question their own self. And that might be true. But I, I, that's how I feel, honestly. Cause it's like, man, that's that ain't got nothing to do with you, bro. If you if you hitting bitches, you getting, you getting, you know what I'm saying? You getting some trim. Niggas ain't worried about niggas to hang out with you. Like, nigga, you can come to the club, you know, just don't be on me like that. Like. But when I see dudes do, when I do see gay shit sometimes, I be like, I don't understand it. Cause I'm like, damn, bro. Uh, you got this soft, nice woman right here. And you want this rough ass beard on your face. Or you get, <laughs> or you get head like and you just see a Rick Ross beard on your me. I was like, bro, that nothing about that turns me out. I don't get this shit. But, but see, that's how I feel. When you talk yeah. about Drake, nothing about that beard. Make no, me want to take be, off that beard anything. Be in you, you just said it. Nothing about that make me want to take off anything. You feel what I'm saying? So it's just people. It's just oh, who drink, you see this and hit your DM just on some bullshit <laughs> and just put you to the test. I'm a DM like, bro. Please don't put me to the test, hey. because I'm flying out there. Hey, there you go. <laughs> I'm flying out there, for sure. out there for sure. He gonna be mad as fuck when I be like, hey, put this on, put this on the ox. He gonna be mad in a bitch. I ain't pick you up for this. <laughs> no. I'm gonna make a song for myself. <laughs> Now, like, so you said you already knew at an early age coming up gay, um, that you were gay. We're in the space, shout out to my guy, Ray Water. Mm -hmm. He was going at it with, um, what's the chick from Arkansas? I don't want to say she gay, but she come off as that. Um, hell cat, hell. Anyway, he was going at it like, studs don't make it in hip hop. And in music, like people, for some reason, aren't interested and here it studs. It's, what that, do you feel about that? That's not true. Insecure men are not interested in hearing studs. I when I just said like, I just I don't do major promo just yet. Um, but my shit get plays. I get nice amounts of plays without the promo. 
which means there's a fan base somewhere. Somebody's listening to it every second. Somebody's listening to it every day. You get what I'm saying? So yeah. it, it just find your target audience, man. Like, I really feel like the game is just oversaturated with this toxic masculinity that is not even needed no more. Like, to the point to where it's not even about studs. It's about even the women as well. Like, hip women are running hip hop right now, but you'll see any dude on the comments like, man, it's your ass. You know, women need to stop. I've never seen so many men dick ride other men mm. and then be the first one to call some gay. You get what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. man, the music is music. Like, when man, woman, boy, girl, these these men be feeling like, oh, ain't no room for that, ain't no room for that. We need all this gangster shit. We need something for the streets. Niggas who ain't even in the streets. You feel me? Like, nigga, you ain't even part of it. Well, you, you don't know shit this nigga talking about. You don't do that. You feel yeah. me? But this is what you need. More violence and incitement and all this extra shit. Like, nah, bro, you don't need that. I feel like women are going to take over sooner or later as far as, like, overall artistry. Mm. You feel what I mean? Like, it, as long as we can stick together, man. It, it, I guess he was more so saying, like, if you look at mainstream, the only, like, major stud you ever seen get anywhere is Young M.A. Yeah, or you got to, like... Put it to the side or make it seem like you. Even M.A. did that before. M.A. did that before, like, where she was talking about niggas. She was trying. Yeah. It was one song. I, she was trying. I was like, man, stop that. Like, if you hard, you just hard. Yeah. And motherfucker shot to deny her. You get what I'm saying? For the longest. But she just out. She just outran him. She proved him wrong. Yeah. So shout out to her for that. But Now, what about being, like, a gay female? Um... Cash doing her thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, what you mean? You just got to find your 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 target audience. You feel me? It, can girls who get away from a right blend of feminism and masculinity, because it seemed like the girls that come off so almost as if they identify as a dude. Right. Because that's hard. Like, I ain't going to lie. If I hear a girl that I guess identifies as a guy trying to rap and sound like a guy and say the shit that guy saying a song got. And maybe she really doing this shit. Really, she really about it. But just me seeing it in here, I'm like, whatever. That's bullshit. I don't know. For me, it doesn't resonate when I see it. Damn. But, damn. but maybe because in the culture, because everything is so new, mm -hmm. you haven't seen a, a lot of women who identify as men or try to really be like men. You haven't really seen them get down like that yet. It's because it's so new. I don't know. And for me, when I hear it, I just be like... I. I guess whenever I hear a good girl talk about she gonna shoot somebody or do something, I'm gonna pull up and air it out. I'm like, shut that shit up. That's just immediately in my head that goes through it. But then that let me know, okay, this might not be for me. That might but not if, be for But you. if the song is hard and it's undeniable, if then it don't matter. It's even like, hey, shit, I don't believe this shit. This shit hard. Because it's entertainment. Anyway. But I mean, I'm, I don't know. Cause, and it's crazy because... I be on that for real, but yeah. I, I do everything alone. Gotcha. Like, I, I'm not with that. If I got some dirt I'm finna do, I'm doing it alone. Because what I won't be sitting around is like all them situations where your partner snitched. Yeah. So I don't, I can't talk about that because why would I incriminate myself? Yeah. That's incriminate. I mean, if I, I do R&B, I'm singing about love. Like everybody can relate to sex. Like every human being that's an adult who's sexually active. Yeah. Regardless of whether I'm talking about a woman, it's a lot of men who actually like my music. It's a lot of men who respect my music. And yeah. they was like, hey, I don't like seeing a bunch of dudes in a video with guns talking about A, B, and C. It was like, I like your vibe. Every video is just you and a female vibe, and then you talking your shit. It sound real, real good. That's just my vibe. Like, I don't, I don't get into all that. Even though I can, trust me, I can talk about that. I can get it going. Rap stuff, I can rap. But I, it's just like... I feel like people will feel like that. Yeah. So I just stick with my guns as far as singing. Like, I, I know I can sing, so why not do that? Do you think being gay is a sin? I don't believe in uh, uh, those religions. Like, I'm gotcha. not religious. Gotcha. I believe in spirituality, the universe, higher powers. N not so much like men-made religions. So, so is it a sin or no for you? What is a sin if I don't believe in religion? Uh, religious. I mean, things. you may not believe really religious. I mean, maybe your spirituality hey, has some things. And that. you know what's crazy? I'm a PGK, so my my um what grandfather was a pastor. Oh, okay. And we were heavily in church as as a young person. I was very heavy in church. I was in church maybe twice on Sunday, 
I was there Wednesday and Thursday coming up. Yeah. And it, it, that, that was kind of hard because my family would look at me because I, I I'm, I'm a Pisces. I'm the type, I don't take shit from nobody. Yeah. So it's like, I'm going to be myself. And if y'all got a problem with it, y'all just got a problem with it. So I had a lot of run-ins with my own family, but it was just like, Hey, it is what it is. I don't believe in that. Even at 15, I had a run-in with my family. I was like, I don't, I don't believe in that, man. Like, that just don't make I don't know. It just don't make sense to me personally. Yeah. But I ain't knocking nobody who on it. I grew from it. Gotcha. Um, if if you can, I, I know we touched on this earlier, but like if you can like define like the style of music though, like what what makes what makes you unique amongst everybody else out there that's that's doing music? Because the music hard. <laughs> I listen to it, the, the, the the quality on point. The video quality, the production on point, as far as the video, like everything about it, damn near like a Def Jam artist. Um, and I'm local and really not that known right now. I'm very like um, an introvert. Okay. I'm, I don't like, you know what I'm saying? I, I've been drinking, so I'm more comfortable right now. But other than that, I'm very shy. Gotcha. And like, I don't really me like, too. I don't like when people put me on spot, like sing. I heard you could sing, sing. I would roll my heart, my eyes so hard. Get out of my face, please. <laughs> but I mean, I just I can do anything. If you hear the old stuff, SoundCloud stuff, like when it comes to rapping, and I'll, I'll get on a song, start singing, and get to rapping, and mm. it fucks you up. You know what I'm saying? It's like, damn, she can spit too, but it's like a melodic spit. You feel me? Yeah. I just feel like I'm different. I'm myself. I don't try to be nobody else, man. I everything about me is what I like. Like all my my videos, I'm not finna put a dude in here to talk about dudes. Like I like both. I don't. Mm -hmm. I like women. If if this music is for you, it's for you. If it's not, it's not. I, I'm not the type of person that try to force anything. You gotta create a song now that be like I almost did. What you talk about? Hey, there you go. I almost, I almost did. did. That was almost my baby daddy, man. Hey, do do you want kids? Yeah. Uh, not right now. I'm not right now. Like, like would you want to carry yourself? Or would you like want your lady to carry? Somebody else to carry that motherfucker. Honestly, yeah. like I don't want. You know what I'm saying? I like my body. I don't like being in pain. I don't like all of that. So, you know what I'm saying? I just rather. I don't. I just like. Come on, man. Being big and pregnant. I'm already emotional, bipolar. I don't even <laughs> want to put nobody through that. You gotcha. know what I'm saying? So I don't want to carry my own child, man. But you know, and you know what's crazy? My mama. My mama was like, when I told her, I was like. You know, I want to have a baby. If I, if I did decide to carry, yeah, it would be like artificially inseminated or something. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm a little. It's cool. Smears, a little fuck. Why not up, just so. do it the natural way? It'd be over with a lot faster than. He stop playing the with process. me. You've been playing. This is the third time. But I'm just saying, you think about cost efficient efficiency. But, it won't cost you nothing at hold up, all. Hold up, hold up, hold up. It will cost me something. Like what? Because how we even gonna do? How you gonna go in and it ain't even it ain't it ain't there for you. You get what I'm saying? It ain't there for you, so we got to do some other shit to get it there for you in the first place. Like I'm just not it on it. Gonna take that much. Look, you think about it. They gotta go. You go to the doctor. They gotta get syringes and unnatural stuff. You just find your dude like boo boo. I don't know. Nah. You ain't did nothing, so that thing fired. He in there, pal. Who that thing fired there? for him. He, what about me? See, you worried about baby. you, not me, and that's the problem. I'm worried about me, no, so I never let it happen. But we getting you just the baby. You here for just the baby? You ain't here for. I'm at the time. doctor for the baby. You hear me? I'm at the doctor for the baby. But think about how you got to pay the copay. You might so? have a deductible. You know what I'm saying? All the stuff that you got to... Two minutes and you good. Two minutes? That's that's why all these bitches gay now. That's all y'all niggas got to offer? That's all I need. Two minutes? Hey, man. That's why these bitches... This, that's why they got kids hey. now and over here trying to mess with us. Hey. That's why. Hey, two minutes? Hey, I'm like quality over quantity. <laughs> I ain't, I ain't got time to be fucking. Two home. minutes, that's it. That, that's all I need. And I and I've been sitting here wondering, like, why deep it got kids, three and four kids, then want to be like, oh, you know, LGBT, yeah, real gay. Hey, there you go. Hey, no dude, way. They, they always come back. Yeah, because them two minutes be straight. That's why they be they be mad because the two minutes be great. They two like, minutes is crazy. That's insane. Crazy. That's insanity. Man, do do push ups for two minutes straight. Baby, that two minutes will piss me it, off. Do, do push-ups for two minutes. About? You say two minutes is short, but like do push-ups for two minutes straight. Guess what? Guess what? She going to come over here to something that I, that's, I can't feel it, so I don't know if it's five. But I'm going to keep going yeah, I asked somebody for else five that. minutes. I'm going to keep going for 10 because I can't feel it. 
That's why they over here. <laughs> Take them back. Take them back, D. Come back. Uh, hey. Take them back. Do your thing, y'all. Hey, I'm cool. I'm cool with mine. I be like, uh, that's all you got? That's it. <laughs> Sleep. Uh, <laughs> you, you ain't going to get back up. No, I don't even. I'm straight. I'm Bro. Either, I either get hungry or I'm sleepy. It'll just Guess what? She going to pull out that rose. You hear me? Hey, they go in. Yeah. You going to cool. be knocked out. You ain't going to hear it. Hey, I be thinking it's me. It's like, <laughs> Wait, like, that's my phone? God, nah. what's that? My brace your heart. You good? <laughs> Dang, it don't make me nervous. That don't, that don't make you feel away, though? No, I'm done. That don't make you feel away no. that you just gave the best two minutes of your life and you good, but she got to she gotta get a, two more minutes from her, right? See, that's not the problem. She think... See, I got myself a nut. She got to learn how to get herself a nut in two minutes just like me. If she get down to two minutes, this, we both good. But if you sitting here Y'all waiting on good. me, you sitting here waiting on me, she I'm like, because you got to think, a dude, you can be in the worst vagina ever and you're going to still get your nut. See, we get in that motherfucker for us. So what do you do for your lady, D? Huh? She got two minutes. Okay, do, do you, do you, I can, I'm we can, I've been cursing this whole time, but no, I'm just cool. trying, we can be it's like. It's going to go on the Christian network, though. <laughs> do you do cunnilingus? Let's say yeah. it like that, then. Yeah, since yeah, we, since that. It's Christian's watching. I do that. That's cool. That's just a good time. That ain't said that's fun. cool. How many minutes of that do she get? Uh, I mean, I don't even time that because I enjoy that part. Okay. But do you wait for her? Because it might take her five to ten minutes with kind of lingus. But I tell people all the time, look, your ass on the clock. You got to learn how to speed this shit up. Damn. You gotta know how to make yourself nut. Don't don't just don't depend on Not me. Not you giving three nut. minutes on the kind of links. Now it's only five for the whole thing. Because I'm, I'm Damn. saying, bro, <laughs> I'm the type of person. Anything over four minutes turn into cardio. And as <laughs> That's you a real see, workout. At this, point, about. at this point, well I could have went to the gym. I'm straight. I'm <laughs> 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 just learn how to speed this shit up. You know what I'm saying? Then we be good, like. My wife know I nut in two minutes. She nut in a minute and 58. We good. She right, beat me. Right, before, right before the mark. She already know she what's already happening. Know. Look, we both in that boy. Y'all got to focus. We she got to focus in this bitch. Hey, she learning. She you learning. That's just all it is. But if she want to go bump vaginas, hey, go do your thing. So you so you don't mind? You wouldn't you bring somebody else in? Hell yeah. Come but you on. only got two minutes worth of dick. That's it. That's all I need. I could just watch the rest and go to sleep. If y'all want to do sex for a long time, that's good for y'all. Maybe they should do sex first and get a couple on their own and that, then bring that, you that's in. That's cool. That's cool. I'd be like the, clo- the closer for baseball. The, 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 pitcher, hey, the closer. Say, I'm going to come in and I'm going to throw the ball as long as hard as I can. Man, he laughing hard. <laughs> I'm going to throw as hard as, hard as hell, can. boy. Man, you funny for real. <laughs> Dude, I'm out that way, dog. Nah, fuck that. I ain't trying to... <laughs> I ain't got time to be fucking for a long time. Nah, for real. I tell people all the time, if I long, if I last more than five minutes, that shit that's trash. That shit ass on God. That like, shit is boom. ass. Like, what is this <laughs> open wall concepts? It ain't no walls in here. Y'all just <laughs> throw everything down? <laughs> hey, no. But, um, so, like, what you got coming out right now? What you working on? Some, some rap shit, actually. Yeah. Actually, so, I just like showing my uh, creativity, my versatility. Yeah. I ain't gonna throw no rock on no people yet. You know what I'm saying? I really wanna be a pop star. Like, I don't wanna be in a rap scene. The rap fan base and culture is so toxic. Mm. I don't wanna be in that. Like, I wanna be over there with, like, like my, my top two artists right now is Doja Cat and Ariana Grande. Okay. Doja Cat can be kind of controversial. Doja Cat is hard enough to be controversial. Facts. Like, She's hard. And I hate when people be like, oh, such, they can't even keep up. Remember, she started out as a rapper in hip hop. Yeah. And she got out of it. And now people don't even know where she, what she on for real. It's like, man, they try to say she trash. I'm like, man, y'all don't listen to this woman. This woman is gold. How can people, because we know people always talk about the city don't support. Oh, yeah, nah. Um, tell me, how can we support in the city? Like, what, what can we do to help? Up and coming artists. It's hard because everybody wanna be an artist and everybody wanna be the main star of everything. So when it comes to support, they don't ever wanna see you get bigger than them. And that's but, the problem. But tell us how can. So just like, cause we know it's the problem. We know support is an issue. Uh-huh. But give me a solution on how can we support. Uh, so many other states have already shown the blueprint. 
Right. We'll never follow it. We'll never follow it. Who was the last mainstream rapper that we had? You got Erica Banks. I fuck with E. Um, you got Cash Bates. I fuck with Cash. You got Yellow. Big I fuck with Yellow. Big on the way. But see, you got, you got Yellow Beezy where after his hit, the people don't support out here. I don't hear people supporting him like they should, like we should. So tell me, how should we? That's what I'm saying. Like, give me hey, an example man, of a way. How can we support enough? Yellow Beezy, Yellow Beezy can be the face of Dallas, but why is he not? That means everybody got to be on your way, just like Memphis. Everybody's on, everybody from Memphis ways. Like, every, it's just like support. We, we support each other, grind. We support each other getting up. We lend our hand. Dallas don't lend a hand. Mm. Dallas don't lend a hand. If it ain't, you know what I'm saying? If it ain't what they used to or something they want to hear, they won't put the time into it. But my thing about it is a lot of managers will put their time into a rap dude or whatever. And guess what? If he really about what he's talking about, he might be killed. Then what's next? You feel what yep. I'm saying? Like, find something different that you might not like. You get what I'm saying? And that's, that's low-key how I found versatility. Getting on beats that I wouldn't, I'd just be like, ah, oh, nah. That's a challenge for me. I'm challenged now. So that that and that helps me yep. go, go to the next level with shit. I feel like if that's something that we'll do, we, I feel like managers around here from Dallas always looking for the next thing, the next hot thing that'll be hot for a minute. Get you an artist and work with that artist and build that artist to greatness. But collectively. Collectively. How, well, let's put it like this. I'm going to narrow it down. What would you like for those watching it that can support you? What are some of the simplest things that we can do to help support you as an upcoming artist? Oh, me personally? Yeah. Just check it out. Like, uh, just check me out. I'm I'm not the type of person who want to force my music on shit. I be talking about women. I talk about, like, sexual things. Some people might be uncomfortable with that, yeah. which is completely fine. If it ain't for you, it ain't for you. But if it is, it, I, I would like to be put on a slow playlist. I would like to be put on your sex playlist, what you put on when it's time to have sex and like wind down and wind your woman. That's what I'm on. Feel me? Even if you want to wind your man and just put it on. It's like, it's for that. It's for that right there. Like, that's what I create music for. Gotcha. For people who are intimate with others and spiritual and just like intimacy like that's what I'm on love um all that hating shit and all that I'll talk about that sometimes but you can support me just by giving it a listen I feel like the quality like you said the quality the lyrics the things I'm talking about everything everything can either catch your ear or you will be too blinded about who I am as a person that's something that you can't control to where you turn it off yeah that's fine too now, if for people who checking you out for the first time hearing you, where, where can they locate you to um, check out your music? Uh, YouTube, of course, uh, Saray Blood, S-R-A-I-B-L-U-H-H. You can find me on any platform, Spotify, Apple Music, and sh just play it. Just get it on, man. Like, I, it ain't none of that hype stuff. A lot of stuff ain't hype. Like, you know, I do. if I am doing hype stuff, it's melodic rap. Just a bunch of vibes and vocals. Like, I take that into real consideration with my music. I take my time with vocal production. I look up to Beyonce for that. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, Saray, man. I appreciate you sitting down with me. For sure, man. I thank you for having me. Hey, man. Hopefully, we can continue this journey. Man, I hope we can continue our relationship, man. You funny. I, I want to call you sometimes. Just, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you just be BD. And I just, you know what I'm saying? That's all I can be. That's what's up, man. All right. Well, until we meet again. All right. Go stream it.